Oh hi, thanks for watching my video and welcome back to another episode of the Skipper Let's Play. So in the last episode, Emily travelled through time to explore an alternate universe. Sounds a bit weird, but it did happen. And she's arrived back just in time for Christmas and she's arrived with a completely different attitude. She's no longer feeling pissed off about having to move in with Skipper's new boyfriend and she's no longer pissed off about having a new sibling on the way. So I thought today we would just celebrate Christmas and get settled in. So I'm thinking, first things first, you can't have Christmas without a grand meal. So let's go for a fake turkey dinner. And then maybe while Skipper's making dinner, the, the girls could get into the holiday spirit as well. I mean, right now, Imogen is feeling tense from having a bitter sentiment towards Emily. <laughs> They're not even, like, friends. They're barely acquaintances. But you know what might help, girls? Maybe if we get a little bit of holiday spirit in here? Maybe a bit of Christmas music will do the trick. There we go, that's better. We got some Christmas music going. Oh shit, Skipper has class in one hour. Might not be enough time to finish dinner. Hey, Daryl, how about you stop bothering her? How about you fuck off? The dog needs to take a piss, so why don't you... Why don't you go take him for a short walk so he can do his business? Little Christmas walk, maybe? Well, Skipper, you've got 20 minutes, so let's hope you can get that dinner made before then. Maybe we'll just miss class today. What does it matter? We're pregnant anyway. Aw, someone set the table. Right, let's have our grand meal. Do we have any other classes today? We've got one in two hours. Yeah. Put your homework book away, Skipper. It's time for Christmas dinner. Sit down and eat. What's wrong with you? Is no one going to sit at this perfectly good table? Well, that was a waste. Why don't we open some of these Christmas crackers? That would be fun, wouldn't it? Kids, come back here so we can have some mandatory family fun. Come on. Yay! Imogen received a special collectible plushie from the holiday cracker. There's also a joke scrawled on a slip of paper. What does Bone Hilda say after preparing dinner? Bon appetit. Hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. You gonna pop your cracker now? Oh, I hope we get something good like a pocket knife. Oh, she seems sad. What's this? Some broken parts and a piece of scrap. Either Emily is using it wrong or the holiday cracker was poorly made. Oh no, there's another one here. Just take Skipper's. She's going to college anyway, so... Broken dreams. She's going to be sad for two hours because of that holiday cracker. Oh, and then the other one didn't even have a gift. Right, when does Skipper get back from class? Because I don't really want her to miss out on the presents. She comes back in about an hour. Oh, for fuck's sake, Hayden. Ruined. Also, why are you still all the way over here? Why aren't you going home? I love how everyone's wearing Christmas hats. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Look at all the Christmas people. This is what I call getting in the holiday spirit, eh? Right, come on, Pickle. We're going to go home and have a Christmas dinner. Literally everyone is dressed for Christmas. There's a kid over there in a ball gown. I'm loving the festivity. Right, Skipper's back. Let's all go and sing together. Oh, that's right. That's what Christmas is all about, ain't it? Nah, not really. It's actually about the presents. Where's Daryl gone again? Why are you walking back to the fucking park? What's wrong with you? It's the time to be enjoying spending time with your family. Look at them all standing there singing together and you couldn't be any further away. Skipper, your boyfriend's a bit of a twat. Oh, who's that calling? Oh, it's Midge just wanting to know if she needs to get to know Aaron Beda. I don't give a shit, Midge. It's Christmas. Don't bother me with that. Okay, why can't we open these presents? Maybe I needed a diff different stack of presents. How cruel is that to have presents as decoration? All right, that's better. Let's all go and open some presents. Let's hope you kids have been good this year. Have you been good, Emily? Are you going to get some coal? Oh, I don't know. You've been kind of mean to a lot of people. Maybe you will just get some coal. So Imogen got some bubbles. That's a bit of a shit present, isn't it? And Emily got a gnome. What about Daryl and Skipper? What did you guys get? Daryl got a micro. And Skipper got <laughs> folded laundry. And she will treasure it. Great. Well, Father Winter isn't going to come for another few hours. 
So what time like the present to go and visit the gynaecologist? We'll take Daryl too. Let's go see what kind of baby we're having. And we'll leave the girls alone. Hopefully they won't kill each other. Tell you what, kids, seeing as it's Christmas, how about we'll get you a nice doll's house and then you can play nicely and hopefully try and build some kind of friendship together. I'm not expecting wonders. I'm not anticipating you guys would become best friends. But maybe if we could get the relationship out of the red, that would be good. They both have festering grudges between each other. Ah, uh, stop being mean. They just keep bicking on each other. Look, you two need to stop playing up. Santa's gonna be here soon and he will not be happy. Oh, there he is. And he's walking away, see? Took one look at you kids and fucked off. Cause he knew you was misbehaving. Oh, you're back. All right, well, let's get some presents then. Give me the goods, Santa. Oh, what did you get? Oh, she got a doctor play set. What about Skipper? You give me a plasma screen TV? A flamingonium. Right, how about we see what baby we're having? I don't know why I always put them in the kitchen, but I always do. I like my gynecologist scans to be in the kitchen. What are we gonna have then? It will most likely be a girl. You know what, I really thought we were gonna have a boy for some reason, but I guess not. We're having another girl. This is gonna be a very female filled household. Well, that was a truly magical family Christmas. But now that we've pretty much completed this holiday, done all the festivities, we should probably start planning for this next little one. So I'm thinking, right now we only have a three bed house, but we do have two bathrooms. And I'm thinking maybe what I could do is if I drag this room out, just one square, I could potentially turn this into a baby's room. And then if I rejig these walls a little bit, I could probably make the bathroom big enough to have like the bath and everything all in there. Like if I did this, okay, let's see. Let's say for argument's sake, we pop the bath there. We could put the toilet there. Hmm, but what about the sink? I wonder if they can still use the bath if the sink is there. I think that should be fine. And then we'll just sell all this bathroom shit and convert it into a baby room. I'm thinking green. We'll get some books and then maybe a toy chest and then that'll do. We'll call it a day. There we go. Perfect. Well, Skipper, we know what we're having. You've got your baby room ready to go. You're gonna be in your third trimester in only a couple of hours. I think we're gonna be having this baby in the next episode. Why don't you take this time to maybe do some of your homework? I'm pretty sure when you're at college, you get no maternity leave at all. I guess the game isn't designed for uh, student mothers, which is bullshit, because you go to college at any age as a young adult. But yeah, it's kind of lucky that Daryl is unemployed because I think he's going to have to do most of the parenting. All right, Santa, you can head off now. It's getting on for 11 o'clock at night. Goodbye. Oh, this is the thing with Santa. This is why I don't usually ask him for presents because the second you get something from him, he's impossible to get rid of. He always overstays his welcome. Emily, can you clean up the dinner and then do your extra credit work? And then probably we'll just send everyone to bed We've got a big day tomorrow. Skipper's gonna have her baby in between her classes. Although she can take family leave. So I guess I was wrong. I mean, I'm not going to because I would like her to progress in her degree. But maybe I was wrong. Maybe you can get maternity leave when you're at college. Right, everyone else, go to bed. It's the end of the day. It's been a long day. You kids have been a right pain in the ass. Go to sleep. And on that Christmas cheery note, I'm going to end this video here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.